Chapter Two: Counting in Groups. I have a lot of objects to count. Abu, will you please help me? It becomes a lot easier when you count objects in small groups instead of counting each object. It will take you a really long time if you have a huge number of objects to count. Let's learn how to do that. Here we have a group of circles. How many circles does it have? These at the top. Let me just shade them over here. One, two, and three. There's three on the top. Then there's three. That's one, two, three. So three on the bottom. It has six circles. What we just did was count in smaller groups. Else you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, which would take a while longer, don't you think? Let me give you a different example. Let's count this group. We have one, two, three. That's three on the top. Then we have one, two, three. That's three in the middle. So that's six plus one, two, three, four. So that's six plus four on the bottom, which gives you ten. Wasn't that a super fast counting technique? Let's try another one now. I have many pairs of hair clips here. A pair is a group by itself. A pair consists of two objects. As you can see, there's one hair clip and the second hair clip. So it's two objects of the same kind, like the ones we have here. Can you count how many pairs are there? Now there are three lines here. There's one, two, and three. In each line, we have two pairs of clips. That is two plus two plus two equals two six. That makes it six pairs of hair clips. So let's do that again with a different example. Okay, so if we look over here, once again we have three lines. There's one line, two line, three line. How many pairs do we have in each line? There's one pair, two pairs, and three pairs. So we can see we have three pairs in each line. So counting in groups, it becomes three. Plus three, plus three equals nine. So there are nine pairs of earrings. Now let's see how different things can be kept in groups. How many cylinders are there in each group? Quickly, let's do this. We can see two plus three, two plus three, which equals five. So quickly, how many do we have in total? Let's write that down. We have five. Plus five, plus five, equals fifteen. Okay, there. That was so quick, wasn't it? We have fifteen cylinders. Now let's see another example. Let me draw some grapes. Now, how many are there in each bunch? We can see that we have four up here, and then three over here, and one. So that's four plus three, which equals seven. Plus one equals eight. Now, how many grapes do we have here? We know this one, this first grape is eight, and the second bunch is also eight. So it's eight plus eight equals sixteen. You got that right? 